In this video, I'll be showing you how to make pom-poms using the Clover Pom-Pom Maker. So it comes with these two plastic makers right here. And it allows you to make one and three-eighths inch pom-pom and one and five-eighths inch pom-pom. So this is the one and three-eighths. So this will be perfect for tiny projects and um, baby or children's clothing. And this is the one and five-eighths. And this will be better for more of an adult or child hat. So now this maker is the small one. I'm pretty sure there's a large one of this, so you can pick which one is more likely going to fit your needs for pom-poms. So the tool looks like this, and they have arms that open up on both top and bottom, and this is where you put your yarn to make the pom-pom. These also pull apart, and this is how you remove the pom-pom. So both makers have where they pull apart and have the arms on either side. So for this demonstration, I'll be using the 1 and 5 eighths maker. So to get started, you'll need to pick the size maker that you want. You'll need a pair of scissors and your colored yarn. So you take your device here and you're going to open both sides and you're going to keep them together. You're going to take your yarn you're going to make like a, a rainbow shape with your maker and you're going to keep a small tail underneath and you're just going to wrap around your rainbow shape and I like to wrap it and then use my finger to pull it down and you just want to keep even tension and try not to overlap your yarn and you're just going to wrap this whole rainbow shape with one layer of yarn. So once you've wrapped it completely so that it's all covered, you're just going to leave a small tail underneath with your other one and you're going to cut it free from your yarn. So now with the tails underneath, you're going to close this side of the maker. And now we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. snip your yarn and you're also going to fold this side over so now your maker looks like this so now leaving it closed you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut in between you'll see you have your two devices and down this line you're going to cut your yarn So now you look like this and you're going to do the same thing on the other side as well. So now your device looks like this. You're going to go back to your ball of yarn and you're going to cut just like a six inch, six to eight inch piece of yarn or depending on if you're adding this to something. But just cut a length of yarn. And right here in between our two devices, we have this groove. 
And that's where we're going to stick this. And this is how we're going to tie off the pom-pom. So just place it in between. And you're going to pull it up through to the other side. And then you're going to tie a knot and pull tight right down the center of your device. And I like to double knot mine to make sure that they're pretty secure. So once you have your, your pom pom all tied off, then you're just going to lift up the levers on your device. and you're going to pull apart both sides and remove your pom-pom. Now you'll have a couple fallout strands and that should be like the tail end that you had tucked underneath. Then you'll have your two long strands of what you tied together and you're just going to fluff this up. It also helps to pinch it in the opposite direction. And if you need to trim any that seem out of place Then you can just take your scissors and trim it so it's more even. And there, you've just created your pom-pom using this pom-pom maker. Now, if you want a larger pom-pom but you only have the small maker, you can make four of the largest size. You can even do this with the small one to make a bigger small pom-pom. You're going to gather all the ends that you use to tie them together so tie them as close and as tight as possible so that there are no gaps And now you've just created one large pom-pom using the small pom-pom maker. So I hope this helped you out if you've been wanting to make more uniform pom-poms for any of your projects. I do also have a tutorial where you don't need this maker in order to make a pom-pom. So you can check that out. The link will be below. You can also check out the large version of this pom-pom. I'm not sure what sizes they give, but there is a version if you want to make larger pom-poms without having to tie them together. So I hope this was helpful and you guys try this out. Let me know your favorite method on making pom-poms, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.